Welcome back to Greasy Corner Garage. Here we are at Darren Crocker's shop, and it is an airplane hangar. And you can believe these cars that, hit, that we have here. A few of them he's built. There's a new series that we're starting here on the channel. You know that all the, uh, all the, you know, the car shows this spring, they're kind of dwindling to an end. And you know, we're still gonna hit the cars and coffee, definitely the one in Concord, and see if Charlotte has another one. Um, but uh, today, he's gonna take us on a little short little interview. We're gonna start this series, and we're gonna call it the uh, Conversation Corner. So y'all leave in the comments, tell me what you think about that. You know, it's gotta be something with corner, but you know, it kind of goes back to who's in your corner. You know, that goes back to boxing. You know, that's your people that you have in your corner that are standing behind you and encouraging you and, and they're pushing you forward and they're maybe helping you, maybe doctoring you up a little bit. But um, the main thing, uh, these are, you know, uh, friends. These are newly acquired friends from Americana. And uh, man, he has got a sweet 61 and you're about to check it out. So, uh, Darren, thank you so much for, yeah. you know, letting us come here. Um, and my father, Tim's with us. Uh, you know, the man with the Zephyr, you know, the 547 at 547 Zephyr. All right, and so here we are. And uh, this is the card I've seen at Maricar that caught my eye. Um, this is a high dollar build. And uh, Darren, if you want to let us uh, yeah. tell us a little bit more about it and, uh, you know, where you sure, acquired sure. it from, yeah. maybe the history behind yeah. it. And, um, and then we'll move on to the next car, you know? Yeah, yeah, so. Some of the cars I've bought over the past and some of them I've actually built from the scratch. This car, um, 61 Starliner, um, it's got a 4.6 um, supercharged um, Mustang motor out of it. The generation before the Coyote motor, but uh, the guy that actually built it, um, I guess is up in Virginia. And I acquired this car uh, at Bear Jackson about three years ago. Um, is this one of them cars that I walked up to and it just, I didn't even know that I was going to buy this car, to be honest with you. I didn't even see it in the catalog or nothing. I just, we went to the show and it just like, this car drew my attention from afar. And so when my wife and I went and looked at it, we switched gears. We were looking at a kind of a nomad we wanted to get at that time. Um, but yeah, ended up just bidding on it and uh, won the bid. And it's been ours for a little while. and. Uh, um, actually just made a deal with a guy here in Colorado um, and sold the car to him so oh, so it's, it's sold now yeah it's sold so that means huh? we gotta be careful around it huh <laughs> that's okay yeah yeah uh, man that's sweet he him and his wife love this style car so it's gonna go to the different owner here for a while I guess until he probably gets sick of it I can show you the yeah. motor and, yeah yeah so you said it was supercharged? Supercharged, yep. Okay. I mean, it's got the dual, I guess, dual overhead cam. Um, it's a beast. Yeah, it's a 4.6 liter, yep, right? Yep, 4.6, yep. Okay. Wow. How much power do you think it's making? Uh, I think it's right around 800. Is what wow. So, yeah, that feels pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it'll, and it's beautiful and from top to bottom, and the guy did a very nice job in building the car. It's got Willowwood brakes on it. Yep. Yeah. Some one-off wheels. Um, yeah. Like I said, it's... So what's the difference in a Starliner and a Galaxy? To be honest with you, I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I'm not a... I got Fords, but... um, it's, Dad, you got any comment it, on that? Yeah, Was so, it an early? I, I think the 61... The 61 was a... Uh, I think... I'm not sure about Starliner. I know a 61 the Starliner. That was the addition of a early Galaxy or that's what they were called? They were a Starliner. But it was a Sunliner as well, right? Right, right. Okay. And this says Galaxy on the back, so like I said, okay. this must be the fancier trim. I, I, a Starliner for... It's got the three stars on the side right there. Yeah. Yep, that's definitely a... That's a Starliner thing. Starliner. Yeah. yeah. Starliner. But it still has like the Galaxy. But it's got some meaty tires under it. Oh yeah, thanks. Wow, big! It's on airbags. It's at like the. It'll go lower. Oh, okay. Lower than it is right now. Um, it's just at like the right height for driving it. It's got like three settings, but. Wow. Yeah. What a sweet ride. What a sweet ride. Yeah. So yeah, we yeah. got a. Uh, I got sixty ones, kind of a, like it seems like I got three of them that are sixty ones. Believe it or not, this is a sixty one, uh, Impala, obviously. Um, Another car that I did not build, but I've done some stuff to it since I've owned it. Um, you know, changed up the wheels and tires, and um, 
it's got an LT4 supercharged um, motor that you can buy from GM like today. Um, it's basically one of those plug and play deals where um, you know you buy the ECU, the transmission, the whole nine yards. Oh, okay. So it's all. Yep. So it's all modern running gear. Yep. Gotcha. Yep. So that's the motor I, that they use for, I guess, in the Z06 Corvette. So yeah, you've got yep. a 61 supercharged theme kind of going yeah. on here, huh? Yep. And so are you particularly a Ford guy or? I, honestly, I've been Chevy. My dad and just me growing up, um, I've always liked the Chevys and that's kind of like what I've gone towards. But um, for whatever reason, I've got a couple Fords and, and I think it's just because <laughs> of the look. Like, yeah. Like the star line, if you look at that, like look at the roof line, it is it's just totally bitching, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and and it's obviously, so is a, uh, Impala has like similar, they both have real similar roof lines. And so a lot of it is just like as a kid growing up, you know, playing with Hot Wheels and building models, you know, right. I'm right. in my later 50s. So um, I grew up in the 70s where we played with all that stuff. And, yeah. um, you know, I just kind of went with Chevy stuff and although some of the cars I have are Fords you yep. know and um, that's what you always use in your race cars you always Chevy's, Chevy power yep, yep. Cool. I raced uh, super late models and sprint cars and my dad raced super modifieds and my kids are racing legends and and a little bit in the super late models now um, so we've always been kind of Chevy wow. guys with yeah. our so racing. the third generation yep. race car driver yep wow that's pretty neat my That's dad neat. was inducted to the Hall of Fame in Colorado. The wow. Racers, you know, the and what was his name? Dave Crocker. Yeah, Dave Crocker. He won okay. some championships and super modifieds. And, um, so they put him in the they have a Colorado Motorsports Hall of Fame. He was inducted. Uh, it's been five or six years ago. He Man. got put in that. So it's kind of cool. Yeah, that is um, cool. That's really neat. Yeah. He won a lot of races back in the day. And right. So this kind of carried that tradition now have a grandson that's three months old um so we're, we're <laughs> saving those little bandoleros for him oh, okay um, those are my daughters when she raced um you know in colorado and wyoming and um, nevada so we're uh we moved out here from colorado just a little over two and a half years ago kind of chasing their racing dreams yeah um and now they're racing the legends out here. My one daughter won. Oh well, yeah, you're leaving your legacy, yeah. building yeah. your legacy. Yep. That's so cool. That's so neat. So, That's so neat. But so this yeah. thing right here stands out. Yeah, this, man, this, this is car pretty cool I know here. Like a lot about this was the first car that I built from scratch. Um, started off with a body. So long story short, a friend of mine that was my best buddy, in Colorado, he passed away, and he had this car. Um, granted, it was just a body, really. So it's a brand new, it's a, a brand new. It's not a Brookfield, but there was a guy up in Washington that made some '32 Fords um, back in the day. I don't think they're in business anymore. So long story short, it's a steel car. So anyway, I got it just as a body, and um, I've used painted cars back in the day um, yep. for a guy named John Pugh, custom okay. painter and stuff like that. So I learned a lot of the flames and all the graphics and that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I built this. This was actually my first car that I built. So um, every bit of that's hand painted. Yep. Wow. And all that yeah. blending in there. Yeah, and it's all house of colors, um, candies and pearls and stuff. And um, my buddy did flame, did the pinstripe around the flame, um, and then I cleared over that, and polished it. And wow. But it's got like a little 347, which basically started out as a 302. Um, and it's got AOD transmission automatic and okay it's, so it'll cruise on the highway yeah it's a cruiser yeah, I yeah. mean it's um, it's not super fast by any means but um, I get I really wanted to been, take that to that Car, Carvana deal or Americana I guess it was uh, well so I'm not even going to try to attempt to open that door oh you can open it so how does it yeah. It's oh, look at me. See, I'm on the wrong side of it. You see that? Yeah, suicide. <laughs> um, guy in Colorado did the interior. Wow, she's plush too. Man. I mean, look at the headliner. Wow. Well, 
kind of sweet there. Yeah, yeah fun. Yeah, I like that. That's really cool. And then you you did all the work on it. Mm -hmm. So that's yep. that's the big thing. That is, that yeah, you, I, that you did yeah, the work on it. Yep. And I love like don't get me wrong, I love like that star the Starliner. It's a but I didn't build it, so I kind of don't yeah. have that attachment. Where this car, I have that kind of emotional attachment because it was yeah. my friend's originally. He passed away, and I promised his wife. I said when I bought it, I'll, just the body or whatever. I'm like. I'm gonna finish that car. I don't, I'll put whatever else because I had some other projects going. Yes, sir. Um, yeah. So I have more like this car. I probably would just hand down to one of my kids. You know, wow. kind of that wow. attachment. There's a different level of confidence yeah. with this car, right? Yeah. You can get yeah. out and drive it. Yeah, I know. Enjoy what, it, yeah. and you know every nut and bolt yeah. on it as yep. well. Yep. Wherever you buy yeah. them, they're cool. Don't get me wrong. I mean, and it's fun to have, you know, cars that other people built that yeah. have passion in it too. But uh, yeah, I, I would love to get to that point where yeah. I can buy and flip some cars, do yeah. a little bit of work to them. Yeah. And uh, yeah, man, that was uh, that's definitely a goal of mine. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's really cool. That's really cool. Yeah. So that's uh, so the, uh, what's another one that you've built? I built this here? truck. Yep. I bought I bought this truck on eBay just as a stock '69. Um, and one of those deals, I worked at a race shop in Colorado, Furniture Row Racing, and I I bought it. And it was just all stock, um, kind of. So you're out. a champion then, right? Yeah, we won wow. the championship in 2017 with Truex. Yep. Wow. I worked there. That is cool. For 10 years or whatever, and um, so I drove this thing back and forth to work. And I I lowered it first, got it running, and and then I got carried away just like I do on everything else. Um, yeah, the attention to detail. That's why I show everybody the headliner down to the visors. I mean, everything is done very, very well. I try to, you know, as a painter, you have to like pay attention to detail when you're painting a car, right? You know, if you got dirt or you got to run or- Yeah, just, I mean, know. the jams look just as good as the outside of the yeah. car. That's- I try to trim out everything off with those polished bolts or, I don't know. Like I said, I get kind of carried away um, with some of my stuff, but I just, like I said, build the models as a kid, you kind of, these are just like big models to me. You're right. You know? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But that's where we started. You know, me yeah. and dad, we built a couple um, models when I was a kid. We used to go to the state fair and enter them in and do the contest. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. and he would take them to work with him and take them in the paint booth and put base coat clear on them. Oh, yeah. And sometimes yeah. it would kind of, it would kind of, um, the activator would kind of mush the plastic. Oh, and it right. would kind of roll the edges and so it looked like it was a fabricated body like we changed the body but no it was just the uh yeah, we did that soft yellow 57 chevy and it kind of done that to the side moldings and everything it was really cool yeah so yeah i love that where it starts when you're young and then as you grow up grow and you up, end yeah. up you know the toys never end they yeah. never end come on yeah and then here you got room for an airplane so. yeah we're on a, <laughs> we like an air park so all the neighbors have airplanes yeah, check but that out we uh I don't. Um, you see, it's raining today, so that's why we're, that's a perfect day for a. If you can see way down there, there's a couple airplanes, and you see there's hangars just lined up throughout. That's the runway, the grass runway right there. Yeah. That's cool. That's so cool. He said all of his uh, neighbors love him, you know, because he got an airplane hangar and filled it full of cars, and I'm sure they love it when he's firing them up and now they're doing burnouts in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. Or in the driveway. Now you're probably not messing up that driveway doing burnouts. Yeah. So yeah, that, that's a yeah, that's a beautiful truck. Um, Thank you. There's a huge C10 following, I'm sure. Yeah, right? fan base down here. Oh, is um, it? They yeah. just had the big. Uh, what was it, Dad? Oh, it was yeah, the the, uh, the Denton. Yeah. The, what was it? I, the, somebody the, invited us. Denton Farm racing. Park. Yeah, C10 reunion. Yeah, C10 yeah. reunion. Yeah. 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 And I I, I missed it. <laughs> yeah, we were racing in Vegas, I think. <laughs> oh really? just a 350 yeah and what's yeah what's this powered with just, well i blew one of them up when i first built it um i had 383 and i grenaded that thing but uh just kind of smoothed up the firewall and um it's pretty much it's about wow. it really just kind of detailed you know about the the different hinges and yeah just kind of make it kind of clean it up a little bit Yeah, upgraded brakes on it. Yep, that's yeah. all. C I put um, CPP uppers and lowers. The 
the brake mask. Looks like it's somewhere. got a cup car radiator yeah, in I it. Yeah, I made that just to kind that's of a, a little that's cover. That's a yeah. double. That's a two, double flu. Or be double pass. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so it takes some. Uh, it takes some speed going down the road to get it to start cooling. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> And it's got AC on it. Yep, yeah. vintage air. It's the whole okay. front drive is vintage air. This this drive system, um, which is pretty clean and nice. Yeah. Yeah, I need some good. coated headers. I might. That's what I asked you about the headers. I might. Underneath it. It's. <laughs> yeah, that's just amazing. Like I said, try to, that's amazing. And my my son's always like, "Hey, how the hell do you get these cars done?" And I'm like, "Well." If you go out in the garage and actually work for a couple hours each night, mm. you know, your next thing you know, you got that done. Now you got this yeah. done, and I'm sure your dad probably told you the same thing. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, there's uh, That's nice. the cars um, sometimes take priority. That's yeah. for sure. Well, and that's the fun of it. Is that, you know, you work all day and you're working for another man, you're doing whatever. Yeah. And then um, go home and play with your toy. Yeah. And um, the and that's the or, place to cool yeah. down, a place to process. Yeah. And then they're just tinker. Yep. Um, I, I think my father, he, he's ready to build another one. And we just spent 10, well, five years building this one. And that's part of it. He loves building them. Me so, too. you know, yep. him retired helping me build some cars. And then, so now we're thinking about another motor situation where we can go through that. Cause that was fun. Just hanging out in the motor shop um, with, you know, with the engine guys and yep. um, developing, researching, buying parts, tinker. You know, that's, yeah. that's fun. Yeah, that's that's what fun. That's all about. I actually get a little bit of a sad feeling when you finish one. You do, right? Because you're yeah, like, for sure. Yeah. For sure. And I, oh, it's I'm like, it's finished now. I'm, you know, I'm kind of more like you. I, I enjoy, like, <laughs> like when my buddy said, hey, you want to do that Volkswagen? I'm like, yeah, I don't. My kids, the cars, I'm kind of down for winter or whatever. So I'm like, I get, like, that enjoyment of taking something that's ugly and, yeah. and just, like, say, yeah. putting your spin on it or, or just, like, what you're really good at, you do. And then I try, like, I can paint. Um, yeah some things i suck at you know and i like interior i would never tackle that i'd let somebody yeah. else do it but absolutely like the wiring yeah. i'm kind of learning more like i wired this car i wired my daughter's volkswagen but oh, okay still like some of the shit don't work and i'm yeah. like i need to learn how to you know make it so it does but yeah some stuff but my dad always taught me like don't be scared you know a mm -hmm. lot of people are scared to work do things yeah, yeah. but don't you know it's just like just do you know try it and you'll get better as you do it more and more. wow yep so that's the encouragement right there huh yeah. just stay at it stay and at keep it. learning yep. yeah man i mean today's world gold. is on their phones and you know they like go get your hands dirty do something with man. your hands right? yeah that'll preach yeah. <laughs> that'll preach <laughs> that's good let me give you a shot at the inside on this side man wow so I know y'all are seeing them Volkswagens in the background. Y'all gotta stick with us to see them. <laughs> so this so. this car I bought from a friend of my dad's. Um, and it was just one of those deals that came up. I actually just bought it last year. Um, my dad's buddy built it. Believe it or not, this is like a 20 year build. Wow. He, it's got like, and it's, this car's been driven. Um, I know a little bit more about this car just because it was a friend of my dad's. and. Mm -hmm. um, it has a uh, turbo jet, which was kind of like the generation before, like what everybody's doing with LS stuff now. Oh, okay. This was before that. So this was a crate motor from a Chevy dealer in Colorado. Um, and the guy that built this car is like, I, I'd put him up against anybody as far as his detail, everything like works perfectly. This car, it's one of those cars you can just get in and go drive somewhere and not worry that something's not going to work, run. I mean, granted, I've had some little issues with it, but that's just kind of because of, he's literally, it's got 10, over 10,000 miles on the car, believe it or not. Um, I mean, it rides nice. It, it's just a badass car. And so <laughs> when it came up for sale and he, he didn't even put it for sale with anybody, I my wife like I said I, oh, I know it, huh? I know this like <laughs> yeah. I know what kind of guy this guy is and I just know that there's no stone unturned with him he right looked right. at every little thing and it looks good he did a nice job on it so and I'm like I said I always wanted the nomad in fact initially when I bought that 61 we went there I looked at this car 
you know, looked at all these on when we went to Bear Jackson, I saw this one car and I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna go that's the car I'm gonna try to buy. Yeah. That thing <laughs> deterred me from doing that. So <laughs> anyway, I like the Nomads, fifty five, six and seven are like one of my favorite cars. Yeah, they're pretty rare. Yeah, I mean a nomad, you don't I you know, I go to a lot of shows and don't see a whole lot of them. Right. I, I, I might have seen a handful of them the whole summer. Yeah. You know? Maybe, maybe cool. two or three. Yeah, that's I like fifty six because it has this chrome accent where the color kind of comes forward where fifty five and seven don't have that. Granted they're cool cars too, but yeah, it's got nice lighting in it. Yeah. You can get in it at nighttime. Oh, yeah, that's something a lot of people forget when you know we get a car that's a build and we're working out yeah. some bugs in it or something. It's um it's dark at night. Um and you get into it, the different things are not illuminated and it's just yeah. So it's like a daytime car, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like, he, he thought of everything. Um just goofy things like when you pull the emergency brake T handle, the little a little light goes. Yeah, on. he's got an indicator light. Yeah, yeah okay. It's like I would have never thought of that. Where he, you know, kind of thought of all the little details that a lot of people, including me, that you forget about. He had a guy. Wow. Um, like it's done in Colorado. The car, um, the upholstery was done by a guy in uh, Nebraska, which I thought he did a really bitching job because the dash normally on these are. Like painted the same color as the car. Oh yeah, you're right. He did like a padded, you know, upholstered dash, which just looks nicer, right? I mean, it. Yeah, it flows. Yeah. Look, you know, I guess. Yeah. It, yeah, it looks really good. And yeah. he didn't go like super crazy with, you know, granite. The, when he was building this car, it's quite a while ago. He went with like you know 18s in the front and I think 15 or 16s in the front. 18s in the rear, I should say. Um, so he didn't go with these like monstrous wheels or anything. Just kind of old school, kind of an old school look. And yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, let me give you a shot of that wheel. Yeah, you can just this car like this one close the door. Yeah, you see, I'm always kind of yeah. careful, Ram. I don't know if I, I should. So I just kind of click it. It's I don't all, know if I want to no, slam it. I don't. You know. It's I'm the same way, but. Uh, uh, yeah. That's something Dad taught me when I was young: is to um, is stick your hands in your pocket when we're at these shows, <laughs> and um, and then so that's kind of developed into where, you know, I, I only feel good touching it. You know, <laughs> it's okay. It's just a car. <laughs> he says it's just way. a car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. Yeah, it's a car. Yeah. It's just metal and plastic or whatever. Most of this shit's metal. <laughs> And so this is another one that uh, yep. that you built, yep, I um, built this. ground up. Yep. Wow. So it's a 61 yeah, but, um, Volkswagen, obviously, rag top, which these rag tops are super cool. Um, you kind of get the uh, feel of a convertible, yet you know, the thunder is like super long, you know. And that was, that was a factory option? That was factory, yep. They okay. made them up until, I think, a rag top. Um, 63 was the last year they did the rag tops and so they're super popular now um, so yeah long story a little story on this thing my my two girls race right now the legend series so they started out in bandoleros and uh my one daughter is like i don't know my one daughter bugged how i mean just to race 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 she, that's all she wanted to do because she saw me race and just I worked at furniture racing, so she's just That's all it. about it. My other daughter, on the other hand, wasn't sure. So I'm like, all right. And her name is McKenna. I said, all right, McKenna, let's do this. You don't want to race, so I don't feel like it's fair if I put a bunch of effort. You know, not, put, put a bunch of effort into. Oh, well, we like doggies, right? Her and not you. So long story <laughs> short, I said, how about we build you this car? I had the same, I bought it in Utah, and it was just a shell, and I had it sandblasted. I said, let's do that, you can help me, which encouraged her to like, get her hands dirty and go help oh, me. Okay. I got pictures of her block sand in it, putting the rubber molding, you know, in yeah. the back. So she helped me, cool. and we got to about the point, now my other daughter's racing at this point. Okay. And McKenna's been going to races with us, obviously. So we got to the point where I, I got it all painted, and I'm wet sand and polishing, and she's like, you know what, I think I want to race, too. <laughs> and I'm like, 
Yeah, of course you do. Now that yeah. we're about <laughs> done with your car, yeah. um, so naturally I'm like, okay, you know, mm. you're probably the smartest one out of all kids because you figured out how to get me to build you a car <laughs> and you still get the race where the other two just race and they yeah. haven't figured out how I'm going to build them a car yet. Gotcha. But yeah, <laughs> anyway, so now they, they all race and... So she's the favorite, huh? <laughs> well, she's the smartest one as far as figuring out how to get, you know, something. Yeah, don't say that on camera. Don't yeah, say right? That. Yeah, <laughs> no. We, we laugh about it, you know. That's a beautiful car. But yeah, it's... I'm sure it's fun to drive. It's a fun, yeah, it's got a 2332, yeah. so dual carburetors, dual okay. Weber's, um, 44's. Um, I can get back there or not yeah, and show. It's kind of tucked away, but... Yeah. That's sweet. Took the body off. I powder coated, fixed all the rust, powder coated the the tub um, or floor pans or whatever you want to call it, um, and just obviously had the body blasted. And, um, Those are Porsche wheels. Well, they yeah, they're replicas. See, okay. If this has a wide five bolt pattern, where a Porsche, real Porsche wheel is like a. It's got rear five. disc on it too. Yep, I put disc brakes on. Oh, okay. Around. Had drums, you know, drum brakes back wow. in the day. Um, so yeah, I mean, new mat. It's got everything's new. Um, new yeah. mat cylinder, all the wiring's new. Had so fine interior, which is uh, Volkswagen. If you guys ever like are looking for a really nice uh, Volkswagen interior, they do beautiful. They're in Colorado, but they okay. have mail kit. You can mail because these seats are vents, so it's small. But yeah. and then it's got a killer stereo. Like yeah, like I kind of seen the speakers the back there in the back. Phenomenal. I mean it. I didn't. I can a get buddy a of mine in that. Colorado has a stereo shop, and I brought it to him, and I'm like, "Yeah, just put something, you know, that will get all their." That's a custom built the, box. Yep. Yeah. He built everything, and it. I'm telling you, it, I can. And it's got four or eights. Yep. Or tens. Okay, they're eights. I think they're eights. Or they might be ten, but it might be. Yeah, tens. Yeah, eights would be a little smaller, I think. But it's got speakers up front. But it's. I mean, this thing rocks like big time. And it's house of colors. I did house of colors paint on it. Yeah, well. the blue looks really good. It's, it's real got a lot of rich. Yeah. yeah, a lot of pearl. Um, yeah, I don't guess the camera does any justice, but yeah, yeah. It, it looks really good. So I had a Volkswagen. That was kind of my first car when I was a kid. So I've always kind of, for whatever stupid reason, I still like them. They're they're fun. They're if. If there's anybody out there that wants to like start on a car that they've never built before and they're like a little timid on doing it, I would totally steer them towards the Volkswagen. They're like the easiest things to work on. They're simple. They're very simple. They're built smart. Yep. Yeah. I mean, there's four bolts to hold the front end in, plus some brake lines. There's maybe four bolts in the rear and a throttle cable and two wires, and you yeah. pull the motor out. Yeah. They're just so simple, and I mean, they're actually kind of cool little cars. Now, granted, they're probably not the safest. <laughs> you know car yeah. as far as airbags yeah. or anything but yeah um you know a lot of kids be like hey what do you think you know i i'd steer them towards a the volkswagen just to get their feet wet on building a little car they're super cheap like those wheels are like 240 bucks a piece they're, i mean just to give you an idea like just how cheap they are um to buy parts for them now some of the stuff is getting harder to find like the rag tops and people are like paying more for that kind of stuff but um, just in general a Volkswagen is a pretty reasonable car um, I think to, to rebuild or yeah. you know, yeah. make a little hot rod out of it and they, they run pretty good like this thing will it runs it's got a pretty big motor for Volkswagen standards yeah. and you know you know they could turbo them and all kinds of stuff I guess now so it's so the power to weight ratio is not yeah, yeah not, exactly yeah, yeah. it makes it feel good yeah you know? super light car yeah. and stuff with a pretty stout motor. that's something yeah i've watched jay leno's collection is something i've always liked about him is that he's got thousand horsepower cars he's got cars at 200 horsepower and he said yeah. his favorite ones are the ones that he can go out there and jump in that um, might not have all the horsepower but he can really let it rip he can yeah. go through the gears he can feel it he said if he does that in a thousand horsepower car He's really speeding, but he's yeah. getting to the point where he's dangerous, where right. you're making turns and, and you're willing to kill other people or killing yourself, yeah. you know? And uh, to get that same thrill, to get that same feel. Yeah. And I'm sure in this thing, you can get out there and just give you it all she's it, got. Yeah. And this thing will go through a corner really yeah. good. I mean, yeah. it handles, they handle really well for what they are. 
Yeah. To hmm. your point, like I've got in that Starliner, and like you stand on that thing, and it's all over the place. Yeah. I mean, it just lights them up. It's almost like you can't hook up all that horsepower anyway. Right. Um, right. Well, that's what we learned with Dad's car. Um, it's fun at the drag strip. Everywhere else, it's like riding on ice. Yeah, you're like just skating around. <laughs> you're just chasing it the whole time. Which is still fun, but yeah. 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 So, yeah, what is what is this? So this it's, is a '65 double cab. Um, that's cool. so. And a lot of people were like, "Oh, did it, you know? Is it custom made?" No, that they had them. Believe it or not, this really? was like the the handyman's Volkswagen, like. A worker oh. or whatever back in the day because these these okay these all slide fold down um these gates like you just lift that up lift that up. Up. Hasn't been lifted up for a while and then this just folds down and how far does that go well it don't have it has should have oh, it like should rubber have some chains or yep or there's like little rubber stops they took them oh, off okay. so that they don't hit the body but yeah normally they'll fold all the way down just and then they hit the little rubber deals but the all three sides will fold down oh it makes it like a flat bed yeah okay and okay uh, so yeah you can load it easy from, it from any out. side yep. yeah wow so these here again i kind of like some of the oddball stuff and this probably fits that bill of being different definitely not a volkswagen to see all the time like no I, yeah like everybody's you know the what are they, the 21 window, 23 window buses, which this is a bus, basically. A yeah, bus. it's a Type 3, correct? Yeah, yep, Type okay. 3, yep. Mm -hmm. Wow. And it's, it's a driver, I mean, it's not, this is one car I'm going to, I'm going to redo this whole thing. Um, I don't know when, but I'm going to redo it. I'm going to show you all the gear shifter, check that out. So in fourth gear, it says still slow yeah, <laughs> instead yeah, of a four is. on it. <laughs> That's cool. That, yeah, All right, so we're going to slam, slam that. We're going to slam it. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, see, it's got some Porsche wheels on it as, yeah. as well. That, that's the Porsche. See how it's the five on five where my daughter's is the wide five. Oh, okay. Yep. Gotcha. It's got like Safari windows, which is kind of cool. Like everybody digs that. And it's lowered quite a bit. But it won't pull the slack out of your underwear when you get on the highway. <laughs> it's, it's slow. But it's fun to ride. Like, a buddy of mine has a little paint booth a couple of streets over, so I usually throw everything in the back and go over to his shop and paint stuff. And so I've mm -hmm. been kind of using it for that, believe it or not. <laughs> My kids call it the clown car. The clown car? Yeah, like, you think it's some <laughs> the circus where a bunch of clowns are being there driving around. <laughs> That's that's pretty neat. I like the headlights on it. Yeah. That that yellow. Yeah. It kind of it makes it pop against that blue. And yeah. That's the original blue, the color. Oh, okay. Here. Yeah. Yeah, and it's got this red line on it, or just yeah, I guess like that's not red. In there. Yeah. Hmm. I bet they don't remake that, do they? Reproduction. Those are actually reproduction. Oh, they are. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Even the moldings huh. you can get like a whole kit. Yeah. Like if you're building, you know, here again, if you want to build something that's kind of easy, you can make these, even the vans, um, the buses, you can make them two-tone and add add that chrome piece to it to kind of like separate it out and give it some character. But yeah, lots of stuff Wow. you can get these days, um, obviously, pretty much any color. We've got a really neat collection here. Thanks. You know? Really cool, and this a, you got another bug behind you. This is a '57 Man. that I'm working on right now. I ordered a Pulse 3 kit from that SoFine. Um, I'm just waiting on that. I just lower it, so it had just all stock suspension. I um, put a narrowed it, four inch beam in the front and wheel with disc brakes all the way around. And oh, what's wow. cool with these cars is you can lower the back end, and it doesn't cost you anything because they're just little torsion bars. Okay. You basically take the swing arm and move it up a click and put it back together and it lowers the back wow where yeah on the front i just did spin that makes it pretty simple huh yeah like like say you didn't spend any money but you can kind of get the look yeah oh, willow woods in there and cross drill rotors huh yeah here again cheap wheels i mean believe it or not they're like 
you know, replicas of, if you were to buy original Fuchs, they're three grand for a set of wheels. Um, but yeah, this is the original color for this car too. Well, that's a nice billet shifter in there. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool looking. Yeah. That's and a neat and color. What, what, what's that color it's called? Coral. Coral. Yep. Huh. And yeah, kind of the oval window, like this particular model is like with Volkswagen enthusiasts, the 57, in my opinion, the 57 with the oval window and a rag top is like, it's like the one that everybody kind of like, if they had a choice of different years, they kind of go towards this one. I, yeah. Or a split window bar. I kind of based my collection on off what I think looks cool, you know. Yeah. And certain cars. Yeah, cool. yeah. You're not just it's not all Fords. Yeah. They, yeah. I like the mix up of yeah. it, you know. Um, I, I and I think a lot of you guys are gonna like that part of it. That um, since you know we're kind of passionate towards Fords, but you know we like all cars. It don't matter, yeah. you yeah. know. Um, but. Uh, they see a lot of Fords. <laughs> Do they? Yeah. Yeah. And so yeah, we we, we go to a lot of all, all Ford meets, all mm -hmm. Ford shows. Yeah. And that's because we, you know we got the Fairmont and the Zephyr, but um, and we're in a Ford club, so we always hear about all those. But love Chevys, work on everything. So, but yeah, I like that you've got a little bit of everything. You yeah. got you know you got Roadsters, man, and then um, there's a Woody up there. Yeah, fifty that's... Woody. <laughs> so any Ford guys out there, are actually gonna sell that car. It's, if anybody's interested, it's a 50 Woody. Um, it's got a flat head with headers, 289. Um, you know, it's okay. three on the tree still. With, it has overdrive. Um, and it's been lowered a little bit. But it's it's a driver, and but it's a bitching car. I mean, and it comes with them old school surfboards and everything. <laughs> um, and the wood's in really good shape. I guess the guy that did a lot of the wood on it is, there's a guy in California that, specializes in doing woodies okay he's the one that worked on the wood and stuff so um for those people that are totally in the the woodies you know they yeah. probably i don't remember the guy's name off the top of my head but um yeah yeah, yeah so leave in the comments uh if you're interested in that car um i don't think today we're going to lower it down and go, and go over them cars i, I think the, um He's gave us um, enough of his time today. I really appreciate you letting oh, us you um, bet. No. walk in here and shoot this. Yeah. And uh, man, it's a beautiful, beautiful car collection you have here. Thank you. And uh, man, I really appreciate it. For sure. Yeah, thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, thanks for coming out. So. Enjoyed having you guys here. It's always nice to be able to show your cars off, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's drive part of it. Like everybody's like, oh, you, I, you can't even, you know, like go to that Carvana <laughs> deal. I can't drive all my cars there. There's just no way, unless I have find a bunch of people to drive them. But yeah, it's nice to have somebody come and look at them. Get them. yeah, because they are fun to. Well, yeah, I appreciate uh, it. Yeah, it gives us stuff to do. You know, um, I just was looking for different content, and this yeah. is something that I've been. Uh, you know, I see other channels do it, and I see other people do it, and um, want to kind of throw our spin on it. And um, and being in this area, you know. And I can't believe that you, you know, you you worked for the same, you know, it's just crazy. He, he yeah. worked for teams that we had buddies that worked at and uh, were there when they worked together. And it's just funny how, you know, things That's just fall together. Is, yeah. yeah, you know, God puts things together. Yeah, he your always dad does, knows you know? a lot of the same people I know. Yep. yep. It's, it's really neat. Close, yep. I, a lot of racing communities. It's very small. Yep. Yep. So cool. Which is awesome because we just moved here and we don't really know a lot of people, but indirectly, feel like I already know you guys. <laughs> <laughs> right. So what's the dog's name? That's Fiona. Fiona's been out here oh, just yeah, rolling around with us. She, she's a shop dog? She's all about hey, like Fiona. hanging out and she'll stay out here as long as I stay out here. Until <laughs> two, three in the morning. She'll the other two, we have two other ones. They're already probably sleeping somewhere. Yeah, the, the other one that kind of looked like a German Shepherd. It had a German Shepherd like pattern. Oh on yeah, it, I guess. Yep, they're yeah. they're French bulldogs, all of them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And the, uh, then a chocolate one, right? Yeah, yeah. That's so cool. That's so cool. All right. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. let's fire one up. All right. What about that? What do you want to fire up? I don't know. I say, uh, what about this purple one? Okay. Yeah. 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 It Which one sounds head. the coolest? Yeah. I say that. Yeah. This would be good, right? Yeah. I get the purple here. 
if it wasn't raining we'd go off and we'd go riding one and that was kind of was a plan but um now it's raining like it i'm not gonna ask him to take them out there and get them wet that would be absurd Yeah, you see a lot of 350s, yeah, and I, I love seeing a you know a flathead V8 and an old you know yeah. and a car it came in you Me know too, yeah. instead of a 350. Which yeah. 350 was you know I can't talk junk about that. That's, yeah, well it's a popular motor, right? That's what yeah. yeah, being affordable, yeah, very find them in everything. Get you have to get parts for them super easily. This just has a small block board basically, car yeah. rated three the 347. All right, for those of you that have stayed to the end, this is the grand finale. Here we are. Check this out. Yeah, also that too. But that's not what we walked in here for. replica but the guy it has the original what so Watson built these things I guess in the 60s yes. 50s or whatever um, so it, it's bait it's built off Watson's drawings yeah um, there was a buddy of my dad's in Colorado that um, built it and then he had a goddamn heart attack died so his wife had it forever and I ended up buying it from his wife so the motor like the wheels are all the correct wheels, the body's it's all aluminum except for the nose and the tail. Um, guy in Colorado built, built, like made all aluminum and stuff. Um, so the motor that belongs in it is a, needs to have an Offy, oh, yeah. an Offenhauser, but that motor is like over 100 grand just for the motor itself. Yeah. So what it has in there, he, everybody seems like that do these replicas make, um, they put off an Alfa Romeo motor. So it's visually it looks like an Offy and it's kind of the same era yeah. as an Offy, but just a cheaper version of putting a motor in one of these cars to where you could actually go to you know yeah. the vintage race in Indy or whatever. I'm probably gonna sell it because it's just I've had it for quite a while and it's just something that you kind of look I mean I wanted to really take it to that car show. Yeah. But you got the you know and then Oh, Ray would have loved it. Ray would have probably loved Ray it. Would have, yeah, he would have loved it. Yeah, I probably should show it to he, him. He, he, he might want to buy it. Yeah. Exactly. I, you know? Yeah. He, this is the kind of stuff he's obsessed over. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. And it's, he, they did a beautiful, it's a very nice yeah. car. It's all hand lettered. My, in fact, my buddy lettered it. Um, not the guy that I learned from, but a guy Gold that, leaf. All gold leaf, and they cleared over it, and it's, And it's kind of like ironic, like it has a sponsor that's related, you know, Denver. It's kind of ties in with my connection to Colorado. And yeah. yeah. Actually, actually, it's a DC special, so that's my initials. <laughs> oh, so man. when I saw yeah. it, they, I mean, I there. bought it pretty cheap, really. Um, so I, I don't know. The kind tires. Of, yeah, they're Coker made. So. When they built the car, they got Coker to re 
do these tires for a yeah. little, small run or whatever. So yeah. they're they're original copies of the original, like how they were back in the day. Yeah, what year would that have been just for the original Six, car? Yeah, 60s, 61, 62, kind Her, of early 60s. Yeah, yeah. So this thing faded out when, from like just looking at research, the Watson Roadster kind of faded out the minute they, they came in with the rear engine, like Lola or whoever yep. brought the rear engine in. The rear car. engine in. Yep. And then this, these cars kind of just went, they weren't fast then, so they kind of just yeah guys made them in them like modifieds i saw some modifieds that they yeah. added a roll cage on them yeah. like east coast modified guys back in the day yeah and then they just yeah i mean they're, they're for a race car they're they're beautiful you know the lines and they're just badass for yeah. what they are like you said those guys that drove them had, had balls of steel oh yeah yes <laughs> this thing went awesome. like 150 like a, in the 60s like the Pole for this year was like 150 something at, wow. at Indy, dude. Yeah. They have like yeah. just a, I mean, yeah, they're yeah, they're built the back is look full. at the tires and all. Yeah, that. look how thin the tires are. The the rear whole section's a fuel cell back in the day. And how the tires cut? Yeah, they haven't cut on that one tread because oh. everybody's like, oh, they wore out. I'm like, no, they're no, that's where they're they, they, yeah, they, 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 like they cut them down, mm -hmm. and it's all it's all I never it, knew that it's all on the left side. Yep. The left side of the tires. On both, on the other side, too? Yeah, same thing. Yeah. 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 So it's the turn left. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, it's got the, it's got the. That's the same thing so, they do so with all, legend cars, so right? All, Don't they shave them? They shave camber cut them. Yeah, they camber cut them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All this, so, so all the, the, uh, the wheel, the wheels magnesium. Yes. Wow, and and the original wheels. knockoffs or are, are, are the mm -hmm. knockoffs of that's original. Yeah, are, they're original. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. I reckon body's all aluminum. Yep, except for the nose and the tails, fiberglass. I mean, some of the cars I guess Watson made had aluminum noses, and then Watson figured he could make them lighter by doing fiberglass. Yeah. So these were actually original Watson pieces. Wow. That they found, you know, aluminum or fiberglass tail and nose. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. So that concludes uh, Darren's shop here and all of his beautiful cars in the collection. Darren, I really appreciate you, you, bet. Thank uh, you. inviting us out here. Let us come around yeah. and move your cars around. Yeah. And um, uh, Dad, thank you for uh, yeah, nice meeting you guys. Thank you. Uh, being with it. us today. Uh, everybody, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Um, lay down a comment. Which one was your favorite? out of all these cars. There's some beautiful cars here, so I'm uh, real curious to see what you say. But y'all have a blessed day, and uh, we'll see you next time. Ooh. Welcome back to Greasy Corner Garage. Here we are with Darren Croker. Crocker, yep. If you wanna, uh, uh, wow. I'll probably need to clip that. All right, so that concludes uh, Darren's shop and all his <laughs> Time that just right. That's good. That's good. <laughs>